What are you going to What are you going to play for us and sing for us? Well, this is a tune off the very first album. Actually, it's something I co-wrote with a friend, Stuffy Schmidt. Uh, he had come to my uh, apartment uh, and uh, had dinner, and uh, I was playing a, a tune that I was working on. It was really just a, 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 a version of the Beatles' "Blackbird" backwards. So you know, "Blackbird" goes like this. And so I started playing it backward and came up with this. Got a rich man's dream, wanna swap my taxi on a limousine, wanna cash it in. Wanna give it all away Got a poor man's needs Beans in the bucket Love in the sheets And your sandy eye Making it all alright Something's calling on me And I don't know where I'm going I don't know Honey, keep me company Woke peacefully in a town somehow in New Jersey in my mama's arms Rocking to the radio And I sing myself to sleep An apartment foreign building G Gotta lock the door Gotta hide the key Oh baby I'm free And I don't know where I'm going I don't know where I'm going I got no place to be Honey keep me company I'll be a famous man with an L.A. tan A million fans and a catamaran Floating movie stars Maybe one day I'll be a bum In the gutter with a bottle in my hand And your sandy eyes Making it all alright Making it all alright Making it all right. Lovely, Dean. Thank you very much indeed. What advice would you give to someone who fancies being a, a singer-songwriter, if you like? Where, where do you begin? Well, first of all, have another way to actually make a living while you're making your music. Um, because it's not something you can rely on, even if you have hit records. Uh, uh, but do stuff that you are passionate about, that you find interesting and that you love. And as far as the music part of it, um, just always... Uh, honor the music. In other words, uh, don't do it for all the other supposed fringe benefits. I mean, those could be fun, but um, stay true to the music. That's what I try to remember, because sometimes, you know, you gig after gig, you, it gets wearing and hard, and you're not in the right frame of mind, but when you're up on stage and you're starting to play, uh, I think the thing to do is forget about everything else and just... Uh, do the best job you can for that song that you're singing there and then and that'll always show you the way uh to getting satisfaction out of what you're doing and as somebody who's been in the music business for a long number of years let's say uh, does it still thrill you to get up and play your songs and your music in front of a live audience well, uh, I, I kind of like I just described. Uh, that's the best part is is sharing the music. 
I, I mean, that's a, a big part of what it is about. And, uh, you know, the traveling can be grueling and uh, the logistics can, you know, get really uh, wearing after a while. But, uh, you know, the act of sharing your music uh, with an appreciative audience is meaningful. Uh, you know, it does something good for you, the, the performer, but it, uh, it's also good for that whole audience. And uh, it's, you know, it's, it's the communal aspect of it. Uh, 